run with uh, Ron Rumi or Ron, what the hell is Ron Paul? I asked my assistant, can you look him up? Ron Paul, you sound good, but you messed up when, when you bring out immigration. You're an immigrant too, buddy. You're an immigrant. Are you going to tell me your forefathers or the ones that were here before? Everybody? Everybody was here? You are an immigrant, so don't forget that. And don't forget, yeah, we are feeding a lot of immigrants and all that, illegal aliens and all that. Sure. But don't forget all about all these other countries. We give them billions and trillions of dollars, and they don't even have to step in this country. That's free money. That doesn't bother you, does it? Well, it, should, it bothers me. These people at least work in this country. They're being taken taxes out of here, and their tax money is going back to the war. And who knows, into other people's pockets. So Ron Paul, get your shit right, brother. If you want people with you, you better start thinking, brother. Just because you're from Texas. It sucks. Okay, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. To me, politicians, they're all the same. They're willing to prostitute themselves. And you got you, all you uh, politicians know who I'm talking about. Prostitute yourselves. That's why if you guys ever want to win for anything, just make out a plain old contract. I as so-and-so pledged that I will do my this, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And if I don't kick my ass out of here, you guys ain't going to do that because Ron Paul, when, if you were to become president, how the hell are you going to get rid of all the dirty, corrupt politicians up there? You got hundreds of them. Everybody's kissing everybody's butt. You know, well, he's got more power. He's got all these guys behind him. Politics sucks. You know what? And then they got this Republican, Democrat. They're all the same. They all come from the same barrel. It's rotten. There's no difference. Because once you put them in there, they change. Because they're being told by other people, well, you got to do this or else we're going to give you a hard time. You know, it's like, like little kids when you're back in school. Threats. It's, it hasn't changed from, little, uh, from schoolyard uh, threatening. Now your politics, it's the same thing. Obama. Obama, how much money do you actually need to run? How much? I don't know. All that money, nobody needs that much money. But I know if you don't win, you get to keep some money. You get to, you know, take some of that money and whatever. But as long as you have Alex, uh, what is it? Axelrod, whatever, Axelrod, whatever. That's a daily person. You're going to be dirty, Obama. You're going to be the same person. You're dirty. I got your letter. You can even help us on this corruption stuff. Well, I can't help you. You got to ask the people of Chicago. How can I ask the people of Chicago to help me if they're all corrupt? You know that, Obama, because you are sleeping with the devil. This country is run by the devil. It is run by the devil. And the devil's winning, but, it, you know, not for long. Because when it's over, it's over. The good people are going to go with, uh, you know, in the good section, and the bad people are going to go in the bad section. I'll leave, leave it at that. Thank you, people. Have a good one. Oh, uh, and another thing I forgot to mention, guys. When I was in jail and all that, a lot of my civil rights were violated. A ton of them. Uh, but, well, I'm going to work on my civil rights to, to get it all straightened up. But here we got all these guys from other states and everything. You know, what the hell is his name from New York who came? We emailed them all our stuff that, yeah, they'll get back to us. They never got back to us because... It's too, too scary for them to, to, to see that stuff. Uh, I forgot, what, what was his name? That guy from uh, New York? The okay, and I forgot to mention about the, one of these Reverend Sharpton. Uh, we emailed him all this stuff. Oh, he, that was the fastest uh, we got back. He got back with us real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're going to look into this. Well, I know you didn't look into it, Mr. Al Sharpton, uh, because you're here for Jesse Jackson just to make some more money for him. I don't know. You guys are... We got enough problems in this little town. This is the dirtiest town in the United States. You don't have to look any other places to look for any more. We got here to last you a lifetime. Uh, my civil rights were violated. Big time. Big time. And uh, you always have Jesse Jackson going all over the world, other states. But when he wants... You can push here, Jesse Jackson. Push here. Don't be afraid. But you know what? Some people don't like to bite the hand that feeds them. Well, I, I do. The hand that feeds me. If the, the hand that's feeding you is doing wrong, you bite back. Because if you don't, you're as good as they are. If they're crooked, you're crooked. Don't hide. Don't hide anything.
please do right. You know, they're generous. Sure, I lived in Louisiana. That, 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 that's, I've been in Mississippi. I was there with my buddy. We went there to a restaurant, sit down one, one day. He said, oh, we can't sit here. That's why. I said, kiss my ass. You just watch me. I'm going to sit here. And they didn't do shit to us. Get that shit out of your heads. That shit's over with. Sure, we had plenty of places that when you, we would go to, down to Mexico on vacation, you go to restaurants, it says no Mexicans allowed. Sure. But, but you know what? I'm not going to let dwell on that. And there's always going to be racism. So, please, we got plenty of dirt here. Let's, let's, get, let's clean up Chicago. And then once it's clean, we can go anywhere, all over, clean up. Mississippi, Louisiana, wherever you guys want to go, because there's a lot of country hill jackers over there that are racist. Racist all the way. But when I go down there, I'm not afraid. If it's all white, I'm going to go sit right next to them. What are you going to do to me? Kill me? So they kill you. So what? At least I died for something that I, I believed in. I'm not going to be afraid. What are you teaching your kids? To be afraid? Fear one person. That's Jehovah God and that's it. Because man cannot do what Jehovah can do to you. He can make you suffer forever. But a person can kill you and that's it. You're gone. So please, all you preachers that preach, preach the right thing. Don't be scared. Because the truth will set you free. I'm not no preacher. But I know one thing. I have my Bible studies on Sundays. And uh, I need that. To stay sane in, in, in this uh, town. But I, I might be alone with this, but all you lawyers and politicians, read the Bible. Read it, please. Because you guys forgot. We're no different than Sodom and Gomorrah. We're no different. If he would come here, say, uh, give me a uh, give me a uh, hundred good people, I'm sure we'll find a hundred good people. But that's about it. Because everybody... He was involved in something, patronage, everything, my own relatives, everything. They'll sell you out in a minute. But that's the way life is because we were brought up to be that way. Luckily, I snapped out of it and I know now the truth. And the truth is, uh, some people don't like the truth, but hey, when you go to court, that's what they want. They want the truth. So it shouldn't be different anywhere else. So please, all you lawyers, <laughs> I don't represent anything. I just represent the truth. Don't be afraid of me. I don't bite. I'm just an American fighting for justice. I'm not a lawyer, politician, just a human being. That's it. So please, don't be afraid of me. Back me up. Back me up. Because at the end, there's promises of, of everything good. I'll see you later.